Research Library. Daily Current Affairs, News Headlines 5th January 2024. National News. The Defence Ministry, today, signed two contracts worth 802 crores for procurement of military equipment in New Delhi. Delhi Police Special Cell has apprehended most wanted terrorist Javed Mattu associated with Hezbollah Mujahideen from the national capital. The Indian Civil and Administrative Services Officers Association has expressed its deep appreciation for the landmark judgment of the Supreme Court providing standard operating procedure for personal appearance of officials in court proceedings. O-Union Minister Piyush Goyal inaugurates India International Jewelry Trade Show IIJ's 2024 in Mumbai. China's Statron Global Times praised India's remarkable progress across economic, governance, and foreign policy under the leadership of PM Modi. Ministry of Education launches Prerna, an experiential learning program for developing leadership qualities in students. The Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports today announced Rashtriya Khel Protsahan Puraskar 2023. Odisha Mining Corporate Limited has been awarded in the category of encouragement to sports through corporate social responsibility. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will attend the All India Conference of Director Generals and Inspector General of Police 2023 at the Rajasthan International Centre in Jaipur on 6th and 7th of this month. Central Drug Standard Control Organization bans all charges except processing fees for procurement of blood. Ministry of External Affairs has expressed grief on the bombing in the Kerman city of Iran. Vice President Jagdeep Dhankar inaugurates Mega Expo under theme Emerging Startup Trends in North India at Kathua. International News Qatar Court gives eight Indian Navy veterans 60 days to appeal against. In Nepal, External Affairs Minister S. Jaishankar, along with his counterpart N.P. South co-chair the 7th India-Nepal Joint Commission meeting in Kathmandu today. Myanmar's military government releases 9,652 prisoners to mark Independence Day. UN Security Council on Wednesday called on Yemen's Houthis to stop their attacks on shipping in the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden. Sports News India claimed a seven-wicket victory against South Africa in the second and the final cricket test at Newland Stadium in Cape Town. The match wrapped up in 107 overs, under five sessions, making it the shortest ever in the history of test cricket. Union Sports Minister Anurag Thakur inaugurates the beach games held at Gogla Beach in Uties of DU. Thank you have a nice day ahead. Like, share and subscribe our channel.